Okay? It's like we're abandoning people in their own bondage because we're not addressing the issues that they have so that they can be set free and worship God in spirit and in truth. Okay? And why are we having so many issues? Because we're scared. We're scared. Nobody trusts deliverance ministers. Nobody knows about demons. And I've seen some deliverance ministers who are not appointed and anointed to do so. I've seen them and I've seen them actually, they have people that they've prayed with. So I know that that's out there. But again, I, the, 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 the issue is, is because we are not as the body of Christ, as the ministry, we're not dealing with deliverance. We have people who are coming to church thinking that they set free that are doing things that they're not supposed, they're not authorized to do. They're not authorized to do. We have people who are walking around calling themselves prophets and prophetess who are not authorized to give a word of God, who are not sitting before God and spending the time that is necessary for God to even get a word from God, but they are doing it, which only hurts the body. So again, the fire that is in me right now to preach this because my heart is breaking when I see this, my heart is breaking as an evangelist to go out and talk to people and people don't have a church home and people are scared to go to church because they don't believe in it anymore. The church is not working for them. They went in with pain and came home with pain. They went in with hope and, and, and went home hopeless. They've lost their taste. And for the people who are listening, who are in that position, I tell you this, that do not allow anything to uh, get in between your walk with God, your personal relationship with him. See, all of us outside of the four walls of ministry should have a personal relationship with him. Yes, it's nice to fellowship. It's nice to fellowship. But at the end of the day, when you go to bed, when you get on your knees by yourself, you should know how to call upon the Lord. You should know where to go when you feel like the enemy is after you. When you're in darkness and nobody can help, you should know where to go to get help. And so, I hope that this word has uh, helped someone and I hope um, that we're hearing what God is saying right now because he's saying it. I don't know Pastor Pagani. I've never been to his ministry. Um, you know, last year when um, I, I had the situation that I had with my ministry and I left Um uh, you know, the Holy Spirit led me to uh, some of his videos and he he's just been confirming things that I've seen for so long. Um, so I know that God is using him. And I pray that God uses me mightily as he has used him and he's used Evangelist King. Um, and I humble myself before his throne. And I ask for more wisdom and revelation as he moves me forward in, um, in the things that he has called me to do. And I, and I pray that to you as well. Um, but I leave you with this. Please, 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 if you are a lover of God and his word and you are a believer in Jesus Christ, please examine yourself before the light of the word. Find a ministry who can, who is anointed and appointed to help you get set free. If you have never, ever had deliverance performed, I don't care if you have been in church for 10 years. I don't care if you have been to the altar and had uh, prayer over you. You may still need to get 
delivered. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.